Hey guys, what's up? I'm still here. Um, I wanted to touch on something when I kind of noticed. Actually, it's just been very blatant to me, but I haven't uploaded a Roblox video in, let's see, five months? But that wasn't even a true Roblox video. That was just me complaining about how horrible Roblox's servers are. But this video isn't going to be me really complaining about their servers. It's going to be me talking about how you can get better at Phantom Forces. But I'm a little rusty, so I'm not going to hop into a game. But I was thinking that we could go over some of my past footage. And I'll explain what I'm doing um, while I'm running around and shooting Roblox Lego figures high quality but yeah nearly 130 subs thank you guys but I also haven't uploaded in two months but uh, video should be coming sooner than later besides this one if this one even comes out to the public but I think Roblox Phantom Forces at max graphics I think Phantom Forces at max graphics whatever that's my most viewed Phantom Forces video so I'm just gonna put it on mute cuz I I'm annoyed by this music now, but very first thing, running around with your pistol, unless you are confident, let me make this full screen, unless you are very confident about your ability to no scope people and quick scope people in close quarters, I would pick a solid secondary, such as whatever this revolver is, I don't remember what it is, but 18 something, <laughs> and just run around with that, or I wouldn't really recommend an auto pistol, unless you're going to grab an extended mag and high points, or one or the other, because I don't think you can do both. Holy hell, do you have to be loud on the highway, jeez. Um, but anyways, just get off with it. Now, I'll show this to you again, slower, alright, there we go, first talking point, number one in this little Lego figure game, pump your POV up to as much as you can stand. I think it's either set for 105 or 95. That's what I like to keep in mind across all FPSs. But if you just crank that up, you'll be able to see his people. Not his, but you'll be able to see people whenever you're running around corners. Like for instance, I think I just caught on the side of that guy's muzzle in his hand. I was like, oh wait, hang on, that's a human being. I should probably clap that. So I did. Um, if you're in a s situation like this, whenever you're just rounding a corner, you know, like mid round of a corner, and there's a person, unless you are very confident with your aim, just try and hit center mass as many times as you can. With a revolver, you kind of have to go for headshots because it's like a quarter second until you can take another shot. Because that's a double action. I believe, or something like that. Um, but this was way back when I was very confident with my aim. I actually was a semi-pro player, I guess you could say, for a while. And I streamed this game, and it was good times. But the servers are so bad that taking this game seriously and actually caring enough about it to play it, it's just it's not worth it. It's not the game side, but it's Roblox's. <laughs> But continuing on past this. Alright. Again. Attention to detail. This dude's head was just popping up. Put this back to. Let's put it to 0.5 so it's standable. See, there we go. There's a head. I noticed it. I think more like I was checking the corner for the tank. Checking the tank corner. Usually people like to hide in there. 
or over in this area. I don't even know if they still have this map. But either check here or behind the tank. But you can see, I see him, number one. Number two, your mini map. That is very useful. It's almost overpowered. Most of the time, whenever I'm just running around the map and I die because I'm not looking at the screen, I actually am. I'm just looking at the mini map for a quick second. Just looking to see if I can find someone. But there we go. Line them up. Switch to my secondary. So I'm out of ammo. Because that was before they had um, the extended mag. So I had six shots. It takes like two or three to kill someone. So Foresight said to me, hey, switch out to your revolver. See what you can do. I'm immediately looking over here because there's no more red dots on the side where the guy was. So I'm immediately looking over here towards tank because I haven't cleared that out yet. And I see the guy, one shot to the chest, puts him down. And then here, I think that's just a well-aimed shot, and you can see a little dot from either me or someone else spotting him. I'm um, spotting this guy up on the roof, the guy with the SFG. And just peg him. I don't think I led that shot too much. Yeah, I led that shot a slight amount, but nothing to really make it um, a problem. But I could have easily finish that round off, that rounding that corner of the box with my other weapon. I'm not quite too sure. Okay, I had six shots, so again, switching the weapon instead of reloading, because reloading I would have been dead. <laughs> but switching the weapon, perfectly fine. Alright, going upstairs, here's an enemy. I think I knew that there was at least two guys up here. There's some blood, there's some more blood splatting, so that tells me that there was at least one guy in here. And here's a second, so that's three guys that are in here. So there's probably at least a fourth, but I don't think there is. Yeah, there isn't a fourth. <laughs> also, I would really recommend to turn your um, graphics as high as you can. So that if a bullet hits, if you're sniping and you're in like a little house up here. And somebody tries to snipe you but they miss. And it breaks that glass. You can see, you can kind of get a better idea of where they're coming from by looking at where the bullet landed. <laughs> but here's another instance of just um, crosshair placement. You always want to keep your crosshair about where people would be instead of like up in the air or down on the ground or like in random places. You want to keep it around body level if not head level because that's where you should really be aiming. It's about torso to head, upper torso to head. So let's watch this again. So I jumped over. I probably saw this guy first. It seems like I jumped over a fence saw that guy first. And this guy came out of nowhere. So spray transfer. Very nice. Took that guy out. Also, if you're running an SMG, you really need to learn how much ammunition, how many bullets it takes to kill someone, and the amount of time that it takes to kill someone from a distance. Because with this, I knew, I think I was already transferring by a time before he was dead. But he's dead, and I'm transferring. He's already dead, and I'm now transferring to that second person. That second person is running around the box. But I reload, and they're coming back out. They're trying to jiggle peek me. But a single lot, a shot to the leg gets him. Um, there is a bullet drop in the game, and um, bullet travel, yeah. I guess that would be the right term. So if you're aiming, if you're trying to hit someone from, let's say, 252 meters, just aim slightly above their head and learn the bullet drop of your weapon. There's another one. There's another one. And I actually miss this one, I believe. Yeah. And then here's just scope dragging instead of sighting out, then sighting back in. Of your weapon whenever there's a person that are moving quickly on close quarters just drag your weapon across the screen or you can scope out and just try and hit fire there's a single good shot here we go there's instance of hip firing and then I guess you could, you could say quick scoping here's a hacker they're fly hacking like this with a sniper 
that can easily wall bang you. I'm assuming he's using walls too. Then the easiest thing to do would be just grab your favorite noob killer, BFG, and just cap the child. Also putting a bolly on there, so no shame in putting a bolly on a weapon whenever you're first learning it, especially a sniper or a DMR. There's no shame in doing that. Uh, let's see what this is. So I chunk a nade. This is hill. I believe the enemy has a hill currently. So I chunk the nade within the vicinity of the hill. Two kills. Here's a person. Um, the Chris Vector, although its rate of fire is insane, the mag capacity on it is horrible. Unless they've added drum mags. Cause like I said, I haven't played in forever. Unless they've added a drum mags for the um, Chris Vector, switch to PPSH. It's got a drum mag, it's got like 75 rounds, same rate of fire, and practically the same damage, if not more. So I reload, I'm strafing this door, so that if someone is about to come through, it'll be harder for them to hit me. Then here's another guy, aim up, drag it, reload, fall back, limit, it, uh, limit as much... Um, of me is visible while reloading while still not completely running out of the fight retreating into that corner was better than turning my back and running back into that doorway like this guy is doing for instance but here's a guy that slid around and slid completely past me and is going for my buddy then remembers I'm here recognizes his buddy my buddy is there goes after him I get him Reload again, looking back towards where the enemy was. This is just me getting blown up by a grenade. Okay, what's this? Alright, dog tags. I don't remember if they still do this. But here's an instance of why you shouldn't use an auto weapon. I'm already out by the time I kill the first person. But. Um, I'm able to get the second person with my trench mace. Just keeping calm during all these problems and whatnot. Um, running up platforms, scaffolding, I guess you could call it. Seeing a person, try and get them out of the way as quick as you can. And then seeing his buddy, don't go for knife kills unless you really need to. I'm out of ammo. Um, I think this. The end of the clip. Yep, that's the end of the clip. So, most things that people completely neglect. Let me make sure I'm still recording. E boy, I'm still recording. All right. Something that most people neglect, mostly, is aim. Aim. People don't put enough emphasis on it. Um. They normally. Or like, oh yeah, whatever, my aim is what it is. But with aim, you want to set your DPI on your mouse, which DPI is like dots an inch or whatever, something like that. But it's the sensitivity of your mouse. Um, if you don't have a mouse that can change the DPI or sensitivity, you can hit escape and look in the settings for mouse sensitivity or something like that and drop that as low as it'll go. But I would recommend just spending... Like 25 bucks nowadays, or I bought my mouse, which I still have today. It's a nice old Razer mouse, like 80 bucks, but that was a good investment. And that's lasted three computers, yeah. Um, but get a good mouse, drop your DPI to about 800 ish. Currently, I'm running uh, 1300, I think, or 1030. Something along those lines, but low enough to where you have a lot of control, but still not too low to where you can't do a complete 360. So meaning that you can't flick completely around behind you in one single mouse movement without having to pick up the mouse, put it back down, and move again. Um, yeah, I think I ran 800 during my pro time, but really DPI is all up to you. Um, let's see, DPI, work on your aim, um, aim trainer, um, it's a website that you can use, I use that every morning before I started streaming, just did one or two of those, 
Um, knowing your weapon, really good one. If you're just running around with a um, SFG and a BFG, unless you know how to dolphin dive and whatnot, and you know how to super jump, you're probably not going to last too long. That leads into another thing, movement. To get up to this spot right here, I had to super jump. Get up on top of this van. Pretty sure you had a super jump. But I think they added super jumping back in. Or something close back to it. Something close to it back in. Because I know they removed the big jump dive thing. But. Um, yeah, movement. Learning places that you can jump up to on maps. Learning what you can do, where you should throw your nades, map knowledge, massive. You need to spend plenty of time just messing around on maps. Uh, I'd recommend just buying a VIP server, getting a bunch of friends and doing like 1v1s or 4v1s or something. Um, if you don't have any friends, just play by yourself. It's better than just playing out in matches sometimes when you're trying to learn the map. Um, if you don't think you can get somewhere, do it. You'll be surprised at how many places you can actually get in this game. Even though you really shouldn't be able to. Um, where else? Oh yeah, learning the recoil of your gun. For instance, this AK. It's a pretty harsh recoil, but it takes two to three shots to kill someone. So it's pretty... Nice if you can get all of those shots on point. Let me just restart this. And getting all those shots on point is very, very useful. If you can get three well placed AKM shots, that person's done at any range. Even if you just hit him three times in the leg, they should be dead. But, um, let me just show you that I'm not just. Let's see, there's Phantom Forces. Show you my current rank and whatnot. So that you know I'm not just spouting information as level one or something. A new A12, dear God. It looks like a new map. I'm not even gonna bother with it though. I'm not even gonna play. I'm just gonna show you. Cool case. I mean, don't really worry about skins. They do nothing for you gonna except for make them look cooler. And knives. But there we go. Um, rank 121. KD 2.3. Uh, kills. 44. 19 deaths. It's pretty good. Um, it's not great, but don't really worry about your KD. I mean, you should worry about your KD, but once you get up to a high enough level like me, it's really hard to change your KD without massively grinding. I think I started out at 1.9 KD when I first started streaming, and I think 2.5 is the highest I got. And then just dropped a little bit, because I think I've been off and on just checking on the game. But, weapon loadout, I think this is the same gun that I was talking about. Um, head multiplier, 1.4, that means what are damages at that range, 38 to 28, it's going to be um, times 1.4. Uh, minimum time to kill, 0.10 seconds, so that means a headshot will probably kill him, but whatever. Also look at your advanced settings, advanced statistics, whatever, whenever you're customizing your weapon. Um, they've changed a lot of stuff about the grips, but le read the descriptions of the grips, figure out which ones you like the most, and run with them. Um, I think that's about all I can think of right now. But here's the beautifully ugly Chris Vector with nearly 7,000 kills, quality. And then PPSH. Nearly 2k. Still ugly as hell. 
but I liked it back then. You may like it too, but um, if you can think of any other tips or things that people need to work on that you see a lot that people need to work on, uh, please leave it in the comments below. If this video blows up or this video even makes it into the world, I may make another version of this, an updated version, I guess, for other FPSs. But remember, keep calm, train your aim, movement, and learn your weapons. That's really all I can say. But besides that, I really hope this video helped you and whatnot. But adios.